So we start off the day with some unfortunate news. Matt Murray is out with a concussion. Sullivan said this happened in practice, but a lot of people are speculating that it actually happened against Montreal uh, on the Gallagher goal. But however it happened, it doesn't matter because it's never good to have a concussion, especially his third one as a 24-year-old. But Tristan Jari will be getting called up. Here's a tweet from uh, Tom Vineski. Pretty much saying that he's packed his bags and he's excited to go back to Pittsburgh. So it does look like our goalie tandem is Casey DeSmith and Tristan Jari now for the next couple of games until Murray is healthy. And it looks like we won't be getting another Flurry versus Murray matchup this Thursday night because Casey DeSmith will be starting against Malcolm Subban. So not as good as Flurry versus Murray, but still good enough. And here's actually a funny quote from Marc Andre Flurry. So the reporter asked him, will it be weird to sit on the bench in Pittsburgh? And he answered, well, I sat there a bunch. That's awesome. You know, Marc Andre Fleury has a good sense of humor because uh, it is true he did sit on the bench a lot towards the end of his uh, time here in Pittsburgh. But you know what I want to get into? I want to get into this fan base. So I screenshot a bunch of tweets uh, from Penguins fans reacting to Murray's injury, and I'm going to read a bunch to you guys here. And there's something wrong here. Our fan base should not be treating our starting goalie like this. So let me just start right here with this one. This guy straight up says, get him out of the Berg now. Obviously, no, he should not be traded. Anyways, next one. This is why they shouldn't have traded Gustafsson. The Penguins established that Murray is their guy. Gustafsson was never going to play. He was going to get traded one of these days. One of these years, he was going to get traded. They did it now to get Broussard. Just like Tristan Jari. Those who like Tristan Jari, don't uh, get too attached to him because he's going to get traded. I'm telling you from now. I'm no expert here, but Murray is the guy. They've already established this. Whether he's a bust or not, which I don't think he will be. Just a couple. Just a bad first week. Calm down. Look at this one. Love it that they can't just admit that Murray sucks. Let's say concussion or upper body injury. Fleury struggling too, but he admits it and continues to battle. Go Vegas. Oh my god, what are you talking? What did I just read? Why did I read this? I lost brain cells reading this. If I'm Matt Murray, I take at least a month coming back, even if I'm better after a couple days. Three concussions as a goalie is nothing to play with. Let your body heal. Well, this is actually kind of a good tweet, and it's from a Capitals fan. Why are Capitals fans better than Penguins fans on this situation? This guy says, surprise after watching 13 pucks go past his cage for goals on two games. Sir, it's actually 11 goals, not 13. How do you get a concussion playing goalie? Are you serious? How do you get a concussion playing as a goalie? Really, maybe the hard shots to the head, the players coming full speed, crashing into you. Like, There's so many ways to get a concussion as a goalie. Wishing him a speedy recovery. Well, that's a nice tweet coming from another Capitals fan. Again, why are Capitals fans nice all of a sudden? Am I missing something? Why are Penguins fans hating on the... It should be the other way around. What's happening? This guy says you need two number one goalies nowadays. No, you don't. No, there's a reason why it's number one. There's only one number one goalie and a backup goalie. The Penguins were privileged to have two number one goalies for a couple years. And no team, maybe less than a handful of teams have two number one goalies. Yeah, it's needed, but it's not going to happen. You're not going to go and trade for two starting goalies. And just like, you know, you need two number one centers nowadays. No team is going to have two number one centers. And when you do have one, like us, like the Leafs, like the Capitals, it's a privilege and you got to you know, take advantage of it. This guy says he is done. Where is Marc-Andre Fleury when you need him? Well, Fleury's in Vegas. And if you guys haven't noticed, but he's also not off to the greatest start. I'm just kind of sick and tired of everyone bringing up Fleury. It's been over a year. Forget about it. Last year, I understand because it just happened. We've already established, like this happened already. Fleury is not here anymore. It's happened. It's been over a year. And how can you say Matt Murray is done and still have faith in Fleury when Murray is a decade younger than Fleury? How is Fleury not done? You know, he's close to being done. Murray has years to get better, years to fix these you know, struggles and to be an elite goalie in the NHL still while already being a two-time cup champion. Now, take a look at this one. Let's go Penn's goalie. Matt Murray has been diagnosed with his third concussion in three years. You know, nothing wrong with that, right? You know, just stating some facts. Well, look what he says under that. But don't worry, Sidney Crosby has had five and the Penn still let him play. What are you talking about? What is this supposed to even mean? What are you trying to get out of this tweet? What, the Penguins should not be playing Crosby? Like, what? I'm really losing some brain cells today. I shouldn't even have done this video. What am I reading? Damn, where's Flurry when you need him? Oh yeah, in Vegas. First of all, you should not be putting hashtags in every second word of your tweet. And again, I'm not even going to repeat myself, but Flurry is in Vegas. Yes, thank you for letting us know. It's done. Stop complaining about it. Murray is our goalie. Focus on Murray. Don't be focusing on another goalie that's not even in your conference. Flurry is done. He's irrelevant right now. Like, let's be real. He's irrelevant. I know it's tough to hear, but Flurry is irrelevant to the Penguins. Now, don't know what Flurry's irrelevant to. No, he's not irrelevant to the NHL. He's good. Great. In my opinion, still a top five goalie in the NHL. He definitely proved himself last year. But right now, to Penguins fans, he's irrelevant. He should not be being brought up. Murray is the guy. Talk about him. What an excuse for a clown start to the season. He might also be blind. Homeboy can't see the puck. So no, this is not a clown. Wait, what do you say again? 
an excuse for a clown start. What does that even mean? Anyways, but uh, yeah, no, this is not an excuse. It happened after, obviously. What, do you want him to be all good, even play with a concussion? No, he got injured, and he can't play. Anyways, that does it for the tweets. Uh, I can make a whole, like, three-hour podcast talking about or reading tweets about Penguins fans hating on Murray. I just don't understand it. I just, I hate the hate that he's getting. So to end this video, let me just say this, Penguins fans. This is a message to you. If you're a Penguins fan and you hate on Murray or you're having second thoughts about him or whatever, this is for you right now. You could hate Murray, right? I'm not going to tell you you can't hate Murray. You could, you have your own opinion. It's a free world. You can do whatever you want. You could hate on Murray. So go ahead, whatever. You could do all that good stuff. Want him to get traded, all that, right? That's perfectly fine. But when he does turn it around and fix this, and he's good again. I don't want you coming on the bandwagon and saying how good of a goalie he is. You've already established what you are and what your side is. You don't like Murray, so this is your, your side you're picking. You can't turn around in a year or later this year and say, oh no, he's always been good. I have a lot of faith in Murray. I know a lot of Penguins fans have faith in Murray, but there's those Penguins fans that I read in the tweets and a lot of others that have already picked the side they're on, and that's hating Murray. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up the video because I'm just sick and tired of this Murray hate because if you guys don't remember, Fleury got the same hate when he had those playoff struggles and when he was the backup. And I don't know if you remember, but in the year where the Penguins won their back-to-back -back cup, the, the second cup, he wasn't that good, Fleury, uh, in the season, that is. And the fans right away, trade him, trade him, trade him. And look what happened to Fleury. He saved the day against the Capitals in the, later that year. And without Fleury that year, the Penguins are winning the cup. But obviously, the fans were hating on Fleury. And now that he's gone, everyone wants him back, you know. And now Murray's getting the same treatment. Everyone hates on Murray. And if Murray leaves, everyone's going to want Murray back, you know. So you can't... Why are you doing this? Murray's still young. Uh, have faith in him. That's all I could say, really. So I'm just going to end the video here. Give me your thoughts, you know, uh, on this whole situation. Give me your thoughts on the Murray injury. You know, how will the Penguins do without him? Leave a like if you enjoyed. You know, comment the thoughts. And I will see you guys in the next video.